Welcome to a new video, to a new mini-series actually. In this series we're going to take a look at this big opening scene from my post-apocalyptic short film Virus that I shot during quarantine last year. We have this shot of our local hospital, normally it's pretty crowded there, or at least there are some people, but of course during that time no one was there, so we shot there and then enhanced the end of the world scenario by putting a lot of smoke, fire, overall damage and graffiti on it. In this video we're going to learn how to put the smoke on it, in the next video we're going to learn how to damage the building, in the next next video we're going to learn how to set a window on fire and in the last video I'm going to show you how to put the digital graffiti on it. So if you don't want to miss out on these videos be sure to subscribe and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of these videos coming in the next week. First as always we load our clip into After Effects and create a new composition. Then we trim the clip to our desired needs and also we trim the composition to our working area. Then I created a new adjustment layer and put the Lumetric color effect on it. We use this to put the final LUT over everything, although I won't apply that in After Effects but in Final Final Cut Pro, but this is just for reference. So the first effect we're going to create is, as said earlier, the smoke on the hospital roof. For this we duplicate the original clip and disable the visibility of the lower clip, then search for the luma key effect. We put this effect on the upper layer, then we switch the key out darker option to key out lighter and set the threshold to 173. Because we disable the lower clip we can see at which threshold amount setting the sky disappears. Of course this can be different for your scene, but for my scene it was again. 173. Once the sky is gone we can enable the clip again and drop our smoke layer in. My smoke asset was on a white background so I put the blending mode to multiply. If your background is black put the blending mode to screen or add. I put the smoke layer roughly in the correct position and then quickly dropped in the 2.35 to 1 cinematic aspect ratio just for reference because the final composition in Final Cut will be in this aspect ratio. By the way if you want to download this cinematic aspect ratio you can download it in my store. I have a full on pack with a lot of aspect ratios but you can download this 2.35 5 to 1 cinematic aspect ratio as well as a 4 to 3 aspect ratio for free in the link down in the description. No newsletter, no annoying things, just a download. This sounds fishy, but it's actually just a free download in a selfie store. Go ahead. Once the cinema bars are fitted on, we put the smoke layer in between the two original clips, above the normal clip but below the luma keyed clip. Now because of the luma key and the keyed sky in the upper layer, you can see the smoke now comes out of the building or behind the roof railing, I guess. You can of course adjust the luma key if it's not perfectly fitting right now. Then we can turn the LUT layer back on and we are left with this result. And that's already it from this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing for more filmmaking content just like this video. In the next video coming online in two days, you're gonna learn again how to destroy the building with some debris and stuff, how to destroy the facade of the building. And in the next videos of this series, I'm going to show you again how to make a burning window and how to put in some digital graffiti. So if you considered subscribing, also be sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Until next time, goodbye.